Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura if you are new here and thank you for joining me for another video today. So today we have a vinyasa flow practice. We're going to work into the whole body, a little bit more into the side body, maybe the lower back, um, but yeah, just a little bit of everywhere. So as always, modify, adjust, add what you want to add in, take away what you want to take away and just enjoy the practice, make it work for you. So we're gonna get started today in a child's pose. So come on over onto hands and knees. Bring your big toes together, take your knees as wide as you want to, bum to heels, and then just stretch your arms forwards, let your forehead rest onto the ground. And then once you arrive, just take your time to find a place of stillness. So you might need to wiggle around a little bit. You might need to adjust your clothing, adjust your hair, but do what you need to do so that eventually you can find stillness. And then once you've found that stillness, let's just take a slow breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Again, just like that, slow breath in. And big sigh, let it go. And then seal your lips. Begin to breathe in and out of your nose. And begin to just use the breath as an anchor for the mind. So yoga comes from that Sanskrit word yug, which means to yoke or to unite or to join together. And it's the joining together of the mind and the body. So we use our breath as the bridge between the two. So let the breath be your intention for today's practice. Let the breath be your anchor, your guide keep returning to it whenever you notice the mind wanders or whenever there's a challenge just keep and maintain the rhythm of your breath so as you continue to build your breath begin to walk your hands further forwards lifting the elbows and the forearms off the floor Spread your fingers wide, place every fingertip down into the ground, and then as you breathe in, look forwards. And as you breathe out, just rise up, coming into a tabletop position. Bring your knees under your hips, your hands underneath your shoulders, and then continuing to connect breath to movement. As inhale, drop the belly, raise the gaze, find your cow pose. And then exhale, round the spine, draw the chin to the chest. A couple more times, breathing in, drop the belly, raise the gaze. Breathing out, round the spine, chin to chest. One more time, breathe in, belly drops, heart lifts. And then breathe out, press the floor away as you round through the upper back. Lovely, bring it back to a neutral position. Go ahead and tuck your toes under. And then as you breathe in, extend your right leg to the back of the room, toes pointing down. And then exhale, extends the left arm forwards, thumb facing up so you're in your balancing tabletop. Find an activation through the lower belly, a micro tuck of the tailbone so you're not crunching the lower back. And then just lift your right heel, lift your left thumb nice and high. Hold it there, take a breath in and a breath out. Nice, and then from there, begin to rotate your right leg to the right, your left arm to your left, holding it as high as you can. Squeezing that right bum cheek, lifting that left hand, hold it there, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, place the right foot down so it's out to the right in line with your hip. Look forward as you inhale, send your arms to a T, hips forwards, gate pose. Allow the chest to be broad and really stretch from back to front. On an inhale, look over your right shoulder. And then exhale, right hands to right shin, left arm stretches up and over. Send your hips to the left, really stretch through that top hands. Take a breath in. And a breath out. 
Beautiful. And then as you breathe in, reach both arms up so your biceps are in line with your ears. Strong, active core here. And then on an exhale, begin to side bend over towards the left. Try to really pull that left bicep towards your ear. Hold it there for three, two, one. Inhale, rise back up. And we're going to go again, exhale, bending over, maybe a little bit more this time, working the obliques for three, two, one, inhale, rise back up. And then last time, exhale, move it over, holding here for three, two, and then this time on one, lower the left hand down to the floor. Reach through the right hand, keep pulling your hips forward, stretching now through the right side body. Beautiful. And then as you breathe in, send that right arm up to the sky. Wiggle your left hand slightly further forwards, begin to shift into the left hand and then lift your back foot off the floor. Flex through the foot, take an inhale, re-stretch that right arm over the ear. And then exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, your knee to your elbow. Nice. Inhale to extend and reach. Exhale, pull everything in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drive it in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, pull it in. Last time, inhale to extend. Exhale, pull it in. Good. Inhale to extend. Exhale, lower that right foot back to the floor. Use your core muscles, inhale, rise back up to gate pose. And then exhale, bring your hands in front of you, coming back into the, that kind of half tabletop position. From there, begin to walk or slide or step that right foot to the outside of the right hand. So you're coming into a lizard lunge. And then once you're there, walk your hands forwards, draw your hips forwards, your chest forwards, until you feel a deep stretch through the left hip flexor. Good, take a deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. Lovely, on your next inhale, pop up onto your fingertips. And then exhale, straighten the right legs, find a half split variation as you draw the hips back. We'll do that twice more, so as you breathe in, movement and breath, hips forwards, lizard lunge. Breathe out, straighten the legs and fold forwards. One more time, breathe in, hips forwards, shoulders back. And then breathe out, fold over and down, this time pause. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful, on your next breath in, re-bend the right knee. And then exhale, plant the palms, step back into your first high plank. Find a strong setup here, really pressing through the hands, little tuck of the tailbone, take a breath in at the top. And then exhale, knees up or down, lower slowly to the tummy. Untuck your toes on your inhale, find your first cobra, shoulders back. And then exhale, tuck the toes, send your bum to your heels, come into an active child's pose. Just press the chest down, take a breath in. And a breath out. Lovely, inhale, rise back to your tabletop position. Again, toes stay tucked, hands under the shoulders. This time, inhale, the left leg points behind you, the little toe edge facing down. And then exhale, right arm reaches forwards, balancing tabletop. Hold it there for a moment, lifting your limbs high as you draw the tummy and the rib cage in. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, left leg to the left, right arm to the right. See if you can hold and hover for a moment. Keep pressing through that left hand. Nice, and then left foot comes down. Look forwards, inhale, gate pose, lift your arms, hips forwards, shoulders draw down. On an inhale, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, left hands to left calf. Reach your right arm up and over and draw your hips towards the right. Really, we're just stretching through that right side of the body now. Take a deep breath in. 
and a deep breath out you've got it on your next inhale send both arms up to the sky biceps in line with the ears strong core muscles as you exhale begin to side bend over to the right holding it there for three for two for one inhale rise back up and we go again exhale lean over maybe a little bit more for three for two for one, rising all the way back up. And then last time here, holding. Can you lift that right bicep closer for three? For two. And then on one, that right hand comes down. Shift into the right hand and then stretch through the left hand. Left side body stretch. Take a breath in. And a breath out. On your inhale, left arm reaches to the sky. Wiggle that right hand slightly forwards, lean into it, and then lift the back foot off the floor. See if you can get the foot in line with the hip. And then as you breathe in, re-stretch the left arm over the ear, lengthen your body, and then exhale, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Inhale to extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale to extend. And then exhale to crunch. You've got it. This time, inhale to extend. And exhale, place the left foot back where it was. Press into that right hand as you inhale, rise up into your gate pose. And then exhale, bring your hands in front of you, finding an all fours shape. And then wiggle that left foot or step it to the outside of the left hand. Once you're there, walk your hands forwards, walk your hips forwards. Feel the stretch now through the right hip flexor. Maybe a little wiggle if you need it. Beautiful. And then as you breathe in, pop up onto your fingertips. Draw your chest and hips forwards. And as you breathe out, straighten the left leg. Fold back into that extended uh, half split. Again, breathe in, hips forwards, chest lifts. Breathe out, extend, fold. One more time, inhale, hips forwards, lizard lunge. And then exhale, straighten this time, pause, linger into that left hamstring. Just breathing slowly. Really, really nice. And then as you breathe in, look forwards. Bend back into the left knee, plant the palms, and then step it back into your high plank. Take a deep breath at the top of your push-up, and then exhale, lower half or all the way down to the belly. Inhaling cobra or upward facing dog, and then exhale, lift your hips, come into your downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Lovely. On your inhale, lift high onto your tippy toes. Exhale, drop both heels to the left. Bend the knees and then pop up onto the right fingertips. Once you're there, begin to crawl your right hand as far away as possible, really stretching into the right side body. Really, really nice. And then plant the right hand. Inhale, bring your heels back to centre, high onto tippy toes. Exhale, drop the heels to the right, bend the knees, come up onto the left fingertips and then same as before, wiggle that left hand as far forward as you can. Beautiful, inhale, lift the heels, come back to center and then exhale, just press the heels down towards the mat. From there, look forwards, inhale and then exhale, just walk your way all the way to the front of the mat. Bring your feet together, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. And then just fold over the legs as you exhale. Inhale to standing circle or sweep the arms all the way up. And then exhale, pull your hands to your heart, release your arms, finding your mountain pose. Really, really nice. And if you need to, like me, de-layer. 
I don't know why I started in a jumper, I apologise. And then just find a strong mountain pose. Really nice, guys. From here, let's inhale, circle the arms up to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, hands down, head in. Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, lower or land, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Take a slow breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale, lift heels, look forwards. Exhale, walk, step, hop to the front of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Fold forwards as you exhale. Inhale to standing all the way up, lengthen every limb. Exhale, forward fold, go straight back down, breath to movement, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump, lower or land, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Again, spread the fingers, take that deep breath in. Slow breath out. Inhale, lift heels, look forwards. Exhale, step or hop to the front. Inhale to flat back. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way to standing, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, move straight back down, nose to knee. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump, lower or land your chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing. And then exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Really nice. Let's inhale, raise your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow. So you're twisting it across the body. Inhale, free legs dog. Exhale, knee to nose, round through the upper back. Try to give your knee a kiss. Inhale, free legs dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, hold. And then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Pop up onto your fingertips, draw your chest forwards back to your lizard lunge, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're going to step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Bend your knees, turn your toes out, come into malasana. And just for a moment, bring your hands to heart centre. Maybe have a little wiggle here side to side, just getting a little bit more into the inner groin, into the hips. Beautiful. Take an inhale, find stillness. And then exhale, hands to the floor, straighten the legs, turn 10 toes in and fold forwards and down. On an inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump back, lower or land, chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg lifts high to the sky. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, twist and touch. Inhale, free legs, dog. Exhale, knee to nose, try to give it a kiss. Inhale, free legs, dog. Exhale to the left elbow, this time pause. And then left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Come up onto the fingertips, pull everything forwards, take your breath in. And then exhale, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Turn 10 toes out, bend the knees, come down into your malasana. Again, maybe hands to heart, maybe for a moment, just have a little bit of a wiggle. 
Good, and then find stillness, take that breath in, lengthen the crown of the head up. And then exhale, hands down, straighten the legs, turn ten toes inwards, and just fold over your legs. As you breathe in, lengthen your spine, flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or jump back, lower or land your chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Lovely, hopefully feeling a little bit warmer now. Let's inhale the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, twist. This time drop the left heel flat. See if you can squeeze that right knee up towards your armpit and then send the left arm to the sky. Maybe that right leg stays bent, maybe it straightens, maybe it needs to come to the floor, that's okay too. Hold it there, take a breath in. And then exhale, bend the right knee, left hand comes down. Inhale, free legs, dog. Exhale, knee to nose, tap and touch. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lift the left, right leg, sorry. And then exhale, right knee, right elbow. And then step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Pop up onto your fingertips. Take an inhale, pull your chest forwards. And then exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Sit down into your malasana, pull your hands to your heart. This time just take an inhale as you press the elbows against the knees. And then exhale, hands down, straighten the legs, turn 10 toes inwards. Take your two piece fingers around your big toes. Take an inhale as you lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold over the legs, Padagustasana. Just let the head fall down, stretching into the backs of the legs. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Lovely. As you breathe in, find a halfway lift. Bringing your right hand onto your right hip. Begin to shift the weight into your right leg. See if you can keep hold of your left big toe. Leg can be straight or bent. Begin to stand up into Utita Hasta Padagustasana. Hands to big toe balance. Try to draw that left shoulder back. The left knee can always be bent here. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Lovely. As you breathe in, extend your right arm to the sky. Extend your left arm to the sky. And then as you exhale, bend the left knee, step your left foot behind your right ankle over to the back of the right room, hold your left wrist of your right hand and begin to side bend over towards the right. As you do that, bend into the right knee, maybe try to press the left heel down to the floor for a deepened stretch. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Lovely. As you breathe in, bring that left foot to meet the right foot. Release the grip of the hands. And then exhale, sit down into chair pose. Soft shoulders bring the weight into the heels. Take a breath in. Sit two inches lower, breathe out. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knee. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat, finding a runner's lunge. This time, inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. And as you breathe out, we're going to twist to the right, send your left arm forwards, right arm back. Can you pull the right hip back? Maybe you're gazing towards the back hands. Take a breath in. Bend deeper as you breathe out. Lovely. From there, right hands to left hamstring. Inhale, stretch the left arm up and over into your reverse twisted lunge. Keep bending into that right knee, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, warrior two, drop the back heel as you cartwheel the arms open. 
Good, bend into that right knee, take a breath in. And a breath out. On an inhale, reverse your warrior, stretch the right arm up and away. And then as you breathe out, extended side angle, but bring your right hand towards your left hip as you stretch the left arm over. So you're not using your right arm for support. We're going to do that again as you inhale, cartwheel up and open, reverse. And then exhale, side angle variation without the hands. Inhale to reverse. Last time, exhale, side angle. This time, pause. Take that right hand, either forearm to thigh, block or floor. And then just bend into that right knee as you stretch through the left hand. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Lovely. As you breathe in, rise back up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Turn your left heel in. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Find your goddess. From there, interlace your fingers behind your head. Strong core, take a breath in. Exhale, right elbow taps or towards the right knee. Inhale, back to centre. Exhale, to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, and then turn 10 toes in as you fold over the legs. Let the crown of the head release. Take a breath in. And a breath out. On an inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, turn your left toes out. Find side lunge at the back of the mat, bending into the left knee, maybe lifting the right toes off the floor. Try to bring the left elbow inside of the knee. Take the left arm wide. And then inhale the right arm to the sky. Try to turn open through the chest, stretching through the right side body. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, right hand comes down, pivot around, framing your left foot. From there, take an inhale, runner's lunge, chest forwards. And then exhale, straighten the left leg, drop the back heel flat for an extended pyramid. Just fold over that left leg, Drawing the left hip back, take a breath in and a breath out. Lovely. From there, bring your left hand onto your left shin. Press into the feet. Inhale the right arm to the sky for triangle. And then as you exhale, stretch your right arm over the ear. Continue to draw the left hip back. Option one, stay. Option two, left arm reaches forwards, holding it there. Strong core, strong obliques for five, four, three, two, on one. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Left arm reaches up and back. And then exhale, cart all the hands down to the floor. Step back to high plank, either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling cobra or upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Take a full round of breath. Maybe a sigh through the mouth. Really nice. Let's continue with the left. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, hold. Drop the back heel, squeeze it towards the armpit and then inhale, right arm to the sky. Keep it bent, straighten it or drop it down, but try to lift that big toe high. Take an inhale and an exhale. Ooh, nice, bend that left knee, right hands to the floor. Inhale, left leg lifts, free leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose, give it a kiss. Inhale, free leg dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, pause. 
and then step it wide, lizard lunge. Inhale, fingertips and then chest forwards. Exhale, malasana, right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Sit down, pull your hands to heart centre. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, straighten the legs, turn 10 toes in as you fold over and down. From there, take your two peace fingers around the big toes. Same as before, take a breath in, lengthen. And then breathe out, just fold over and release. Tailbone lifting, maybe a micro bend into the knees. Lovely, this time bring your left hands to your hip. Little bend in both knees, look forwards. As you inhale, begin to lift the right foot up. Maybe the knee's bent, maybe it's straight. Finding that balance, trying to draw the right shoulder back. Take a breath in. And a breath out. On an inhale, send your left arm to the sky. Send your right arm to the sky. And then bend your right knee, take your right foot behind your left foot, over to the left, hold the left hand onto the right wrist, and then bend that left knee as you side bend to the left, hips to the right. Maybe press the right heel down, really stretching through the right side body. Take a breath in. And a breath out. And then inhale, bring your right foot next to your left foot. Release the grip of your hands. Exhale, chair pose, sit down into it. Adjust yourself so you're sitting nice and low. Your heels are heavy. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, right foot steps to the back of the mat. Inhale, high crescent lunge, rise up. And then this time as you exhale, twist to the left, right arm forwards, left arm back. Try to pull the left hip back, maybe turn the gaze. Bending deeply. And then take that left hand to your right hamstring. Inhale, the right arm stretches up and over. Keep pulling the tailbone forward so you're not crunching into the lower back. You should also feel this through the right hip flexor. Take one more inhale. And then warrior twos your exhale, drop the back heel, pivot around and bend into that left knee. Take a deep breath in as you adjust and a deep breath out as you settle. Lovely, on an inhale, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, side angle. This time left hand sweeps over to the right thigh as the right arm sweeps up and over. Again, inhale to reverse. Exhale, come forwards and down. One more time, inhale to reverse. Exhale, sweep it over, right arm by the ear, pause. Either forearm to thigh or left hand now to block or floor. Wherever you are, bending deeper into that left knee and stretching further through the right hand. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Lovely, inhale, come back to warrior two. And then straighten the front leg, turn your right heel in, bend your elbows, and then bend into goddess. Good, interlace the fingers behind your head to broaden the chest. One more round of this, take an inhale. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Inhale to centre, exhale to the right. Inhale, centre, exhale left. Inhale, centre, exhale right. Inhale, centre, exhale left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, straighten the legs, release the arms, turn 10 toes in as you fold all the way over the legs. Take a deep breath in and just let it go, breathe out. Really, really nice. On your next breath in, lengthen your spine. 
Exhale, look to the front of the mat, right toes turn out, begin to bend into your right knee for your side lunge. Lifting your left toes off the floor, trying to draw the crown of head tall. And then take the right hand out to the right, and then inhale the left arm to the sky. So you're turning open through the chest. Beautiful, take a deep breath in. And then breathe out, left hand comes down, pivot around, framing your right foot. Hop the back foot in if you need to, drop the back heel, straighten the right leg and fold into your extended pyramid. Drawing the right hip back, take a breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale, find a flat back. Take your right hand to your right cart, shin, sorry. And then inhale the left arm to the sky, triangle variation. Good, hips forward as you exhale, left arm over the ear again, stay. Keep drawing the right hip back, this will make it a lot easier, she says. And then sweep the right arm forward. When I say that, it's not easy. Hold it for five. Breathe slowly, four. Three, can you lift that bottom arm higher for two? And then on one, reverse your triangle, inhale, right arm sweeps up and back. And then exhale, cart all the hands down, step back to high plank, down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing, exhaling, downward facing dog, really nice, take a deep breath in. And a big sigh. Really nice. Just slow the breath for a moment. Take a few rounds. And then when you're ready, inhale to look forwards. Go ahead and drop your knees to the floor. Keep your toes tucked and just walk your hands back towards your knees. Grow nice and tall through the spine. Take your left hand to your left heel. Let's go for our dancing camel. If you've practiced with me before, you know I love this one. And of course, it really gets into the sides of the body. So from there, inhale, sweep the right arm forwards, up and back as you lift the hips, stretching through the right side body. And then exhale, bum to heel. Sweep the right hand to the right ankle. Inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up and around, open. And then exhale, bum to heel and keep going. So switching from side to side. Once you've found the rhythm and the movement, maybe close the eyes, just really feeling into it. Beautiful, and just make sure you've done an even number both sides and then come back to kneeling. Just untuck your toes, sit your bum onto your heels, let your hands rest onto your thighs and just close the eyes. Just take a deep breath in. And a sigh through the mouth. <sighs> When you're ready, just let the eyes flicker open. Sit your sitting bones over to one side, release the legs out long. Bring yourself forwards towards the front of the mat, bringing your feet to the floor. Reach your arms forwards and then vertebrae by vertebrae, just slowly begin to lower yourself down onto your back. Once you get there, bring your hands next to your hips. Draw your knees into your chest. And then just extend your legs up to the sky. Point your toes, press your lower back down into the mat, take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, send your left leg forward until it's hovering a couple of inches from the floor. Good, and then from there, switch the legs, right leg forwards, left leg up. Good, and then continue like that, just switching the legs. Going here for a few rounds. I'm not going to count out loud. <laughs> Beautiful. 
Okay, we're going to go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Bring both feet up to the sky and then squeeze the tummy. Begin to lower both feet three quarters of the way down. Hold. Take a breath in. Lower them down a little bit more. Hold. Take a breath in. Lower down to your edge. Keep pressing that lower back down. Holding for five. Feeling the shakes. Four. Three. Two. And then on one, draw the knees to the chest. Let it go. Little wiggle side to side. Oh, that's never easy. Really nice. And then place the feet to the floor. Heels close to the sit bones, knees hip distance. Press into the palms and then inhale. Lift your tailbone, your lower back, your middle back. And then come right up onto your shoulder blades into your bridge pose. And just try to lift the hips high. Try to deep, take deep breaths, sorry, into the belly. Just stretching through what you just worked. And then when you're ready, just lower the upper back, the middle back, the lower back, and then the tailbone back to the mat. Take the feet mat distance apart and just windshield wiper the legs a few times. Just moving side to side, just releasing any tension. And then the next time the knees are over to the left, pull that right knee on top of the left knee. Take your arms to a T, maybe gaze over your right shoulder. Maybe use your left hand against your right knee just to find a bit of a twist. And then draw your knees back to centre and just switch sides, take the knees to the right, maybe gaze over the left shoulder. Again, just finding that twist. And then draw the knees back to centre. Give yourself a hug, little rock from side to side before taking any movements that you need to take, any stretches. Pause me if you need a little bit longer and then whenever you're ready, we'll just release. Coming into a few moments of Shavasana. If you are a Shavasana skipper, I encourage you to just try and stay a very short, sweet one today. Just allow yourself to take up space, close your eyes, soften your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And just open the mouth, let everything go.
And as you lay here, keeping the eyes closed, just begin to take several deeper breaths. Begin to bring back some gentle movements in the fingers, in the toes, in the ankles, in the wrists. When you're ready, bring your feet together. Go ahead and just stretch your arms up over the head. Take a forward stretch around if you want one. Everybody is moved, everybody feet flat to the floor. Give yourself a final hug into the chest. And then if you can, keep the eyes closed just for a moment longer as you just transition back to a comfortable seated position. However you want to get there, just make your way there. Hands resting onto the knees, grow tall through the spine, chin to chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Pull your hands into heart center, a moment of gratitude to yourself for your time, your energy, your commitment. Taking this sense of gratitude with you off of the mat. And also huge gratitude from me to you for you sharing your practice and energy and time with me today. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on. Like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you at the weekend for a brand new video.